Hello everyone, this is Rosena Haji from The Minority Taste. Today I'll be making an extremely delicious, rich and luscious, simple seafood biryani. Now if you've been watching this channel and been following my journey, you would know that I have dedicated a lot of myself to preserving ancient recipes from Sri Lanka. However, I do get a lot of requests from the younger generation and a lot of my male viewers to give them simple and easy recipe. Now this simple seafood biryani is not only going to be so so delicious, it's going to look fantastic, you can impress anyone with it. You can impress your in-laws, your friends, your family. This is an absolute full-on beautiful dish and it's so easy to make. Let's get into making it. First and foremost, clean, cut, wash and prep your crab, squid and prawn. And into washed and pre-soaked basmati, you're going to add four cloves and then a few bay leaves. Now the written recipe is under my Instagram or Facebook page, do check it out. You're going to add a little saffron, this is optional, and a little melted ghee. And then we're going to add salt to taste and warm water and cook it in your rice cooker because this is the easiest method add some bombay onion into your heated ghee and infuse that ghee with a little salt to taste you're going to salt your onions well though because this is where all the flavor comes in then we're going to add ginger garlic paste Again, let me remind you, the written recipe is in the description box below or on my Instagram or Facebook page. We're going to add a stick of cinnamon. Now let the cinnamon infuse because it needs that heat. Then cut up a few dry chilies. This is going to add that beautiful heat and flavor. Let it all infuse together. Add a chopped tomato. And here's the main tip of this trick the unroasted curry powder. You can use the Sri Lankan unroasted curry powder or the Indian one. Either way, this is the most easiest way that you're gonna get this biryani done. Keep it closed for a few minutes for it to infuse and then you're gonna add your prepped crab. Give it a good mix so that it all absorbs the flavor and keep it closed Now we all know you can add curd for biryani but if you want that super Sri Lankan taste add a little bit of coconut cream and you'll see the difference. We're going to be adding the prawns at this point and the cut up squid and give it a little mix. Now here's my little secret. I also add a little bit of coconut water to give that added flavor but you can add a little warm water it will be just as delicious. Keep it closed for just a few minutes and then you're gonna get this beautiful aroma and you're gonna take away that golden gravy. I'm gonna tell you why just in a little bit, but for now, you're gonna get a beautiful aroma and smell. And then you're gonna add a little bit of coriander leaves. You can add mint leaves, you can add a mix of the both. I'm gonna take the shell off. I added this purely for decorative purposes. Now your rice is all fluffed up and ready. Take off the bay leaf and all the spices. Then you're gonna add the rice and cover the seafood with the rice. add that golden gravy on top now this is where all that flavor and the infused spices the taste all gets into that beautiful rice keep it closed for another five minutes for added taste add just half a lime juice and then you're ready with your beautiful, delicious, rich and luscious seafood biryani. So easy and so impressive. Please do give this recipe a try. See you on the next episode.